Are we going the long way? Huh? We're going the long way? You want to go the highway, right? No. Every day, taxi drivers fleece Las Vegas visitors by taking them the long way. Our undercover investigations over the past five years found more than half of taxi drivers head south out of the airport into the tunnel before turning around and heading for the strip. It adds as much as $10 per ride. It's a new day at the Taxi Cab Authority. When he took the top job in 2011, TA Administrator Charles Harvey said long hauling would be his top priority. Recently, the TA made good on that pledge by posting fare information so passengers know when they're being victimized. We're going to start with strict enforcement of existing laws. Can I yellow cab 32? In June 2012, Harvey's crackdown began with checkpoints at the airport. Citations issued to drivers increased dramatically through the rest of that year, but suddenly nosedived that December to almost none. And for most of 2013, the number of tickets for long hauling was down by two-thirds. There's no coincidence between the two. Attorney Robert Draskovich knows one reason why the citations he dropped that December. Business. That's when the TA started investigating his client, Officer Joe Morgan, along uh, with Morgan. Morgan's Absolutely. partner, James um, Dudley, once. and a third TA officer, Mike Kelly. Those three were the most prolific long-hauling enforcers in the TA. But when a cab company executive complained to the TA about Morgan and Dudley, they were suspended. Months later, Morgan called his boss, Enforcement Chief Ruben Aquino, to check on the case. Aquino wouldn't talk about it, but somehow his phone line remained open after the call. Uh, apparently his chief, uh, Aquino is the way to pronounce it, Basically, what we call a butt dial. <laughs> Dials my client's phone. There's a 37 minutes where he's having a conversation. Oh, I showed you the money, and now you're like, oh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm It's not clear how, but Morgan made a recording of the conversation Chief Aquino had with a TA investigator named Chris Rivers. The two men were discussing the confidential investigations of Morgan and Dudley, as well as other sensitive topics. Appalled that his personnel matter was being discussed with Rivers, Morgan filed a complaint with T.A. Officer Mike Kelly made copies of the tape and sent them via a false email to state officials and others, in part because the conversation also focused on the influence taxi companies have on T.A.'s long-hauling enforcement. Draskovich says that instead of addressing the violation of Morgan's privacy or the larger issue of cab companies exerting control over TA enforcement, the agency went after the whistleblowers. Mike Kelly was charged with a misdemeanor for using a fake email address to send out the tape. Morgan was charged by the attorney general's office with two felony counts related to wiretapping. This isn't like he's putting secret devices inside somebody's phone and listening to conversations, which the statute is meant to apply. The chief accidentally called my client and then subsequently had an inappropriate conversation about him. Draskovich says it seems clear the investigation of Morgan was retaliatory. I mean, you need to break the rules and you're caught doing it and you charge the person who claims with a, with a felony who catches you in breaking the rules. It makes no sense whatsoever.